Okay, here I am uh, on the sound stage, or one of the sound stages of Absolute Music in Pool, Dorset. And I'm going to talk about how I played the guitar parts on the recording of In the Summertime that I made in 1970. So first of all, I'm here with a Fender Stratocaster, which is round about the same colour of the one that I actually used for the recording. Unfortunately, that one was stolen from the studio. That was a 1960 Strat. So I recorded the song in the key of E. So first of all, I hold down the E chord, which I play simply like this. Now, in the key of E, there are basically three chords, E, A, and B7. Well, I don't use the B7, and for the A, I play the F shape on the fifth fret, like so. And for the B, I play the F shape on the seventh fret, like so. Now, when I played the song and recorded it, I sang the melody of In the Summertime in my head, which went and I tried to play exactly the same melody line with my fingers on the guitar as that I was singing. It wasn't always the same, but it was pretty similar. Something like this. So you can probably see how my fingers are working here. Picking out the melody. In the E position. And I'm playing it with my thumb and this finger here, <laughs> which I think is called the forefinger. Some people might use it for other things, like seeing which way the wind is blowing, for example. <laughs> here we go. So, was the in the summertime, when the weather is hot, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. Now, we go to the fifth fret and play the F shape, similar thing. But when I go like this. Just kind of fiddling around, so we go. In the summertime, when the weather is high, you can stretch right up. They ain't touch the sky, or oh, when the weather's right. You got women, you got women on your mind. Have a drink, have a drive, go out and see what you can find. So you notice that I don't actually follow the melody when the uh, chords go to the A and the B, but I kind of pick it out and get maybe an A6 and a B6. Give it kind of a bit of a kind of more melody. So let's run through 12 bars of the song now, give you an idea of what I did when I'm singing. So, but I do the mouth percussion. In the Summertime was said to be the first record that went to number one using a beatbox, which was me. So I hope you can see where my fingers are going, it's like from the B. So everything is different all the way through the song, from the first 12 bars right to the last lot of 12 bars, but all kind of making a variation on there. So sometimes you can use this position, which is the D shape, held down on the uh, fourth and fifth fret to get that E, to get that kind of sound. But it all kind of works together when you've got the rhythm going. So. So that's it. On the electric guitar, quite basic, quite simple. Just a question of technique and practice. Get in with the tune, get in with the groove, stamp your foot on the floor. But the most important thing is keeping the rhythm and the groove. Now, when I made the recording, 
I put the electric guitar down first with a guide vocal or just the guide vocal in my head and then I put the voice on, I put a vocal on. So I sang, in the summertime when the weather is high, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. When the weather's right, you got women, you got women on your mind. Have a drink, have a drive, go out and see what you can find. Okay, so that's enough for the electric guitar because I just played the acoustic guitar part and that's what I'm going to show you now. So uh, I've just told you about the electric guitar part, which I put down first. Now I've picked up an acoustic guitar, a nice small one, because I used a small one on the recording. Uh, on the recording I used a small Gibson and this is a small Martin. Um, so, I recorded the song in the key of E as I said. and. I Hold down the E position like this, and so. The F position on the fifth fret, and the F position on the seventh fret. So, basically, I put my little finger there. Can you see where I put it? And there. Very, very, very basic to give you an idea of the kind of, I suppose you would call it an inversion that I use. Now, I'm not a technical guitar player. I'm not a knowledgeable person about music, technique and theory. I just know what I like. I've got it in my head and the vibe and the groove. So we've set up the recording of In The Summertime. We've recorded a vocal, we've got a melody, and we've got an electric guitar part. So the electric guitar part goes underneath this. So all I do is create the rhythm on the acoustic guitar of the mouth percussion that I put down, which is ch, 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 uh, ch, 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 uh. So, and I'll play with my fingers so the, my nails can kind of glide over the strings so we don't get just one bash like that, we get it more gradual. And the same with the upstroke, which is my, the nail of my thumb. So we go, so it's basically, the rhythm is like. So it's. And then we get the. So you notice that when the comes, I damp the strings with my left hand. So there are the strings undamped, playing the chord of E, and damped. We just get this, so it creates. It's all a little bit of hit and miss, touch and go. The more you do it, the more the technique will improve to get that real kind of good rhythm with, with whatever kind of rhythm guitar playing you're, you're doing on an acoustic guitar using your finger. So. Now I have a tendency to stamp my foot when I'm doing this kind of rhythm to accentuate the on beat, which is dum, 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 which kind of shakes this stage and it shakes the cameras. But just to give you an idea, Okay, now we just go through 12 bars of that with me singing the first verse of In The Summertime again. And then I think we're there. <clears throat> so, one, two, three, four. In the summertime when the weather is high, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. When the weather's right, you got women, you got women on your mind. Have a drink, have a drive, go out and see what you can find. Sing along with us, dee 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 dee, da 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 da, yeah we're happy, happy, da da da, dee da dee dee da 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 da, da da dee da da, dee da da dee da da. Thanks for checking this out. Have a go. Anyone can play it. You don't have to be a genius to play that kind of song. It's all about the groove and the vibe. After. 
four and a half centuries, no, four and a half centuries, four and a half decades, plus the song is still going, people are still playing it all over the world, four or five generations, well, four and a half generations, have fun in the sun, have fun playing the guitar. <laughs> 